I'm Stephen Masalva from Bali Church of Christ, and I'm so humbled to be here with you today. And we want to uh, to speak of overcoming fear. Fear is an uh, unpleasant situation caused by a threat or change, or pain or harm. And uh, many many Christians must go through that. We will face frightening situations and uh, I want to tell you that uh, no Christian is immune to troubles. Even the disciples of Christ Jesus, while walking with him, faced fearful problems. They faced tax collectors and they had no money. When they were crossing the lake on the other side, they were faced with a storm. They were walking uh, during the time of uh, Exodus. They were walking in the wilderness and uh, they had no food. They faced hostilities. Then that is fear. Human resources were insufficient. Also fear of strikes when our resources are depleted and uh, when they are exhausted, we feel like the bank account is exhausted, our schemes are exhausted, all that is fear. For, forgetting that uh, Christians uh, would know that the only resource would be Christ. And when we say, do not be dismayed, these are confusing situations, not understanding our current uh, circumstances or situations. Things will happen for no apparent reason. Getting fired from the job or from your work, suddenly getting sick, getting an accident, losing the loved one, all that brings fear in a person. The more we try to reason some of these things out, the more we get more confused. So there are other types of fear, like fear of failure, where somebody is afraid to fail to attain something. So you get feared because of that. Fear of pain. This is as a result that resurfaces from the past. And uh, something like you had lost somebody, it happens like that. Fear of now. You even fear to make a decision. You fear that if you speak something, uh, something will be bad. Some men fear responsibilities. Some men fear the death. Others fear uh, of the old age. All those uh, some of the things we see that we fear. And our scripture reading is from Isaiah chapter 41, 9 and 10. Uh, God is saying, I took you from the ends of the earth. From its farthest corners I called you. I said, you are my servant. I've chosen you and I've not rejected you. So do not fear, for I'm with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am. You are God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my glacier's right hand. This is the promise of the Lord. And uh, our next step is, uh, as a Christian, how can we overcome fear? And then I'm uh, saying, God is present in your life. He has noticed every pain, every sorrow, every moment of rejection that you're experiencing and is pouring a blessing into your life. So his love is unconditional. You may feel completely neglected and empty, but God is paying attention to every situation you are going through and so that fear will go off. Jesus knows better than anyone else who you are. The good and the bad, he knows. He knows because he took your place. He has already paid a price for you, your sins, and he did it even before 
you ever paid a moment of attention to him. So stumbling over how to go through and maneuvering over life is useless. Know that uh, in such a situation, he understands better than another person. You may have that uh, pain of rejection in the community. And he knew this before. Jesus himself was rejected by the close friends, by the family, and at the end, he was rejected by the world around him. But he lived a perfect life. No revenge. So God is real. It's the best. In 2 Timothy 1.7 says, For God no, has not given us the spirit of fear, but the power and of love and of sound mind. So as you fear, know that God has given us that spirit in our lives that we shall not fear. But we have the power of love and doing others. Now in Joshua 1, 9 says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not uh, tremble or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So we have to be having that courage that God is always with us. So I want to tell you Christians that do not blame God when her distraction comes in your life or hit you. Instead, trust him. And with that, ask that the grace of the Lord may be with you all. Mm -hmm.